Good morning to everybody. Uh, this is the first introduction lecture for the your uh, JE session 2 crash course. Again, it's a crash course. You can take it as a revision class. Basically, uh, all these are the chapter. I think all of you got the schedule also. This is the schedule which we will be going to follow. And in mathematics, these are the tab chapter we are going to do. If you notice that mathematics, I'm we are covering the more chapter because the last session, the maximum people have the difficulty with the mathematics. And we have to make sure that that difficulty should not be there in the session two. So we have to plan in such a way so that key all the important chapters should be covered properly. And there are a few chapters which is the not here because of the time constant. Which I selected those chapter which is the high in weightage as well as easy to get confidence. Understand? It doesn't mean ki other chapter you have to leave it. If you have time, you have to cover. So what we are going to do? Today's lecture, uh, we will be, I'm not teaching you any chapter. I'm going to tell you the basic maths. That is the compulsory needed. If you are not knowing that, you will be facing problem in every chapter of the mathematics. Right? And basic maths is very, very important. If those who wrote the session one, they may be seen also. Okay, definitely, yes, so many questions was asked. The complex number was asked. Your binomial or your function was asked so much. So all these limits, quadratic, all these chapters, basic maths is required. So today's our agenda is that we will cover up the basic math. Those who know well and good, they can uh, just take it as a revision in fast forward mode. But if you are not knowing, I will strongly suggest that you make a proper notes and go through in details because this is fundamental. If you are not knowing this, whatever the best you are trying to do in the other chapters, it will be always problem. There will not be any uh, use after that. Are you getting? So let's go ahead and start up the things. So without wasting time. Let's get started and uh, try to see that means everything we should cover up, whatever the I feel, because complete basic maths is a huge, understand? So in the basic maths, what we are going to learn first, we are going to learn the inequality. Very important, you should know it. I will go a little bit fast. Second, we'll learn method of plotting the graphs. Without this, you cannot think about calculus. Calculus for calculus is very, very important. And we'll see the time according to the time we will be cover up the mod and greatest integer concept. And greatest integer concept. So these things, anyhow, we are going to cover up and in between whatever the small other small, small points will be there, I will be taking up. But be clear, this is very important. Without this, it's very difficult to uh, do the mathematics. Because session one, if you face the problem in mathematics, that means there is a problem with your basic fundamental. Basic fundamental has to be clear. Rest is the very simple. So in the inequality, there are different, different kind of inequalities are there. We are not going to cover up that one. I just wanted to tell the polynomial inequality. Whenever polynomial inequality is coming, how to do that one. So in this, how to identify that ki this is the polynomial inequality. Whenever you find that ki in the any inequality, one side is the polynomial expression and other side is zero, it, we will put in the category of polynomial inequality. Again, I'm repeating. Whenever you find that ki one side of the inequality, inequality all of you can understand, the symbol is the polynomial expression and other side is the zero, so that we can put in the category of polynomial inequality. This is a major inequality, means rest everything will go by that. In some book, book it's called the wave curve method also, right? So polynomial inequality is this one. What are the steps we have to do? Very simple steps. First step, break in linear factor. Break in linear factor. Factors. Uh, I will I'll do one question also the side by side so that ki you can understand better way. Let's say if I am saying that ki x square minus 1 divided by 4 minus x square get then equal to 0. I need to solve this question. 
are less than equal to 0 let's take it less than equal to 0 this i have to find out x from this mean okay? you have to find x so that this whole quantity should be either negative or zero this is the what the target of this so first step is that ki break in linear factor you will understand soon why i am saying this step so let's break it this is not linear factor this is the quadratic so we can break it and we'll get x minus 1 x plus 1 and this is 4 minus x square which i can write 2 minus x into 2 plus x less than equal to 0 as a first step is over second step is that the coefficient of x must be positive in each bracket coefficient of x must be positive in each bracket why i should do this step actually I want only those bracket which is increasing like x minus 1 if you increase the x value whole value will increase x plus 1 whole value will increase x 2 plus x increase but here if you increase the x value suppose x equal to 1 so it's a minus 1 x equal to 2 so it's 0 uh, sorry I'm sorry x equal to 1 so it's 1 x equal to 2 to 0 x equal to 3 to so it's minus 1 as x is increasing whole value decreasing so this is called the decreasing function so that has to make it increasing that is what is the meaning coefficient of x must be positive in each bracket so here positive here positive here positive here negative what should we do just multiply minus sign both side one uh, doubt you may get it that ki, sir why not you are simply multiplying other side no you cannot do that you cannot multiply an unknown quantity to the other side of inequality because we do not know this quantity is positive or negative do you understand my point so that's why we had to so minus minus take common and throw other side so what will get x minus 1 x plus 1 divided by minus common x minus 2 x plus 2 and that minus i thrown to other side so sign of inequality surely will get change get that equal to 0 so coefficient of x must be positive in each bracket that step is done third step find critical point critical point cp critical point of each bracket be clear i am not calculating critical point of a function that is the different things i am asking critical point of a bracket of each brackets critical point critical point is the point where the bracket will become zero when this bracket will become zero 1 this bracket minus 1 this bracket 2 this bracket minus 2 so critical point this critical point is minus 1 this is sorry this is 1 this is minus 1 this is 2 this is minus 2 right so now fourth step plot all critical point all critical point in increasing order on the number line order on the number line sir what is number line Are number line real number line from childhood you are studying so we'll try to plot all the critical point in increasing order on the number line number line is simply a horizontal line don't plot any other point just only critical point the smallest critical point is what minus 2 then minus 1 then 1 then 2 that's all and the last step after largest critical point largest critical point put positive sign and then alternate sign alternate sign right what is the largest critical point here largest critical point here 2 i just broken in the pieces okay this is the area after 2 this is the area between 1 and 2 this is the area between minus 1 and 1 this is minus 2 and 1 so after largest critical point here positive always whatever question greater than 0 less than 0 whatever it's a positive then alternate sign the positive to here automatically negative then here positive then here negative then here positive question done final select proper sign select proper sign what does mean by proper sign proper sign always decide by here not with the original question decided by here here is saying greater than equal to zero means positive 
greater than equal to zero means positive. So where is positive? Here is positive. Here is positive. Here is. Positive. Suppose this is less than zero, so we'll select negative. That's all. Question over. Means your answer is that x should be between minus infinity to minus two or or means all three cannot be. This or this or this. So x element of element of means belongs to minus infinity to minus two. Minus infinity to minus two. Minus two. Think carefully. Minus two is the denominator critical point. It will be always open. R means union. Minus one. Minus one can be happen because denominator can be zero. Then only it will be zero, na? No? So minus one close. One close. Union two open denominator critical point and infinity and minus infinity always open. This is the answer. I am sure everybody understood the point. See this. This lecture is not for the student who is learning first time the mathematics, JE mathematics. These are only those who appear session one, and they know the things. Maximum of you already know this. If you are not knowing, don't worry. After four or five questions, you will become master. That guarantee I can give you. So this is what the answer is going to come. Maybe some of you have difficulty with the brackets. So those who are having the difficulty with the bracket, only for those students. Just simply write this way: minus infinity to minus two union minus one to one union two to infinity. Up now, think. Whenever it's a only, whenever it's a greater than, only greater than or only less than, so use always open bracket. Means all the critical point will be excluded. This means this point excluded. Whatever point will come here, whenever this bracket is coming. Always use bracket this square bracket, but only on numerator critical point. Numerator critical point. So now here greater than equal to, I'll use close bracket, but only on numerator critical point. Minus infinity is not a numerator critical point. So open minus two, not a numerator critical point. Open union minus one, numerator critical point, hundred percent close. Here also hundred percent close. Here open, here open. Did you understand? It's a very simple state problem. This means indicate that x. Will be till minus two, but minus two is not included. Minus one to one, including minus one and one, and two to infinity, excluding two, and plus minus infinity always excluded because that cannot be included. Am I right? Yes. So I hope all of you understood this point. Okay. <coughs> so let's do more practice on this one. Suppose this coming question: Can find x? Find x if anything x square minus five x plus six divided by x square minus five less than equal to zero. So first step: break in linear factor. We'll get x minus two, x plus two. Sorry, x minus three. Factorization: Alpha and Omega. How to do x square minus four? Which I can write x minus root five into x plus root five. Is less than equal to zero. Correct. This is the way to prove. Then find the uh, make coefficient of x positive, 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 positive. Find the critical point of each bracket. That is step two, three, root five minus root five. Plot in increasing order. Smallest critical point minus root five. Then two. Then root five. Root five will be two point something now. Three. Here infinity. Here minus infinity. Yes or no? This is this is this is positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. We want one. We want less than zero. Less than zero means negative. So this is correct. This is correct. So final answer: x element of minus root five, denominator critical point, open. Two. It will be open by chance if it's only less than zero. But if it's equal to zero, so two will be included by x equal to two. If you put this quantity, will become zero. And zero, I want. So close union root five. I hope I am doing correct. Yes, root five close. Sorry, open because zero to critical point. Two three close. I am sure it's clear. Maybe sometimes some calculation mistake I am doing. So I am sorry for that. But uh, I hope all of you understood. Right. Next one. Suppose question is coming this way. Find x if 
x square uh, greater than equal to 3x. I always notice the people do mistakes. What they do mistake? They simply cancel x. Please don't do. Remember, we can cancel. We can cancel or divide. We can multiply. We can multiply or divide those variable whose sign is known. If you know the sign of the variable, then you can divide and cancel. Here, if you cancel x, and I don't know x is positive or negative. Think carefully. Suppose if I say minus 2 into 2 uh, is lesser than minus uh, 2 into, into 3. Yes, true. Because this is the minus 4. This is the minus 6. Minus 4, this is the minus 6. Minus 4, this will be bigger, 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 bigger. Minus 4 is a bigger than minus 6. Yes, sir. Very much correct. Now, if you say, so, okay, sir, this minus 2, bye-bye. How can we bye-bye? If you bye-bye, it will come to greater than 3, which is totally wrong. So, what is the mistake you are doing? You are doing, cancelling a negative quantity. Negative quantity cannot be, kept because negative quantity, if you are cancelling, sign of inequality has to be changed. Do you understand my point? Now, suppose somebody say, it means here I can, if you want to cancel, you have to change the sign of inequality. Suppose I say 2x greater than 3x. And you say that key, x get, x cancel. It will be totally problem. Understood my point? So always remember, you cannot cancel or multiply or divide a quantity which sign is not known. Here x sign is not known, so you cannot cancel. What will happen if you cancel? You will get incomplete answer. Do you understand? So, how to do? Just polynomial inequality x square minus 3x greater than equal to 0. x common x minus 3 greater than equal to 0. Critical point 0 and 3, 0 and 3, positive, negative, positive. We want positive. So, x element of minus infinity to 0 close because 0 is a numerator critical point. Union 3 to infinity. Imagine if you cancel what will happen. If you cancel what will happen? You will get x greater than equal to 3. Means x element of 3 close to infinity. Look. You are getting part of the answer. This answer is missing because the term which is giving this answer, you cancel. You killed that one. So how can you get that? Am I right? Yes. So, always keep this in mind. Do not try to cancel any quantity whose sign is not known. Huh. If I say, suppose question is coming. Find x if uh, x into x square plus x plus 1 greater than equal to x square plus x plus 1. Always remember ax square plus bx plus c greater than 0 for x belongs to real number if a greater than 0 and d less than 0 as well as if ax square plus bx plus c will be less than 0 for x belongs to real number if a less than 0 and d less than 0. In sleeping mode also you should remember this. This is the quartic expression. In the, I think uh, in our uh, uh, schedule there is the quartic chapter is there where you will understand why I am saying this. But these two points should be obvious. I can say by looking this this bracket, look carefully, this bracket, x square plus x plus 1. Discriminant of this will be what? Minus 3. By b square minus 4 ac, so 3 minus 3. And a is positive. So this bracket is always positive. It never be negative. And I know it's always positive. If it's always positive, without any fear, cancel it. No use of this. So we'll simply say, you want the balance, x greater than or equal to 1. The final answer, 1 to infinity. That's all. So, any quantity which is always positive or always negative, if you are sure about it, then 100% you can cancel. But if you are not sure, you cannot cancel. 
I'm sure this point is clear and this point is also clear to all of you, right? In the polynomial equality, the last point which I wanted to tell to all of you, there may be some situation key more than one bracket having same critical point. For example, suppose question is coming to find x if x square minus 4 by x square less than or equal to 0. Suppose this question is coming. Now some people used to say, Ki, sir, this time this is the positive now to multiply. No, this is not positive. This is non-negative. Please try to understand one point. It's a, these, are, these are the small things which make mathematics scoring. And these are the small things which makes mathematics nightmare. It's a very small thing. Very easy to understand and very easy to keep in mind. But generally people ignore it and they face now. X square. If it's X square plus 1 or any other things, X square plus now, without any fear, I can multiply here. I can throw other side because I know it's always positive. This is not always positive. X square minus 4 may be positive, may be negative, may be 0. But X square plus 1, always positive. I can throw it. Then you say, sir, what is the difference in X square? What is the problem? Problem is there because X square can be 0 also. X square can be 0 also. So, this is not always positive. Statement always remember. If any quantity always positive, you can multiply divide. If any quantity always negative, you can multiply divide. But any quantity which is positive or maybe zero, you cannot multiply divide. Do you understand my point? Huh. So sometime what can happen, this kind of situation can come. So no problem, you follow the procedure. And I will say that critical point x minus 2, x plus 2 and x square. x square means x into x. If you break it into critical point 2 minus 2 and 0. Now 0 representing 2 bracket x and x, x into x now. Correct. If any critical point, if any critical point repeat even number of times, even number of times, then it will be called as it will be called as repeated critical point. Else, normal critical point. Normal critical point is whatever you are doing till now. Here, 0 repeating 2 times, it is repeated critical point. Sir, what is the use of this? I will tell you. Now, coefficient of x must be positive, already positive. Now, plot the critical point. Minus 2. 0, 2. Here, what the rule is there? But before rule, you should keep in mind that this is the repeated point. Just mark it. Okay, this is the repeated point. Plus, procedure is same. Plus, minus, but. Now, 0 is not normal critical point. It is a repeated. So, sign will also repeat. Minus. Have you understood? Minus here to minus here. And now this is the normal critical point to plus here. Now what do you want? I want negative sign. Okay. So x element of, this is correct, this is correct. Minus 2. Minus 2 open or close? Close. Because numerator critical point. Minus 2 close. 0 open or close? Open. Denominator critical point. Union. 0 again open. 2 close. This answer. Or this answer you can write other way also. x element of minus 2 to 2 complete, difference 0. I hope able to understand everybody. Yes, or no? Huh. Is it clear? Huh. Anyway, uh, whatever doubts, if by chance you are having doubts when the coming in the next class, uh, my class will be there, that time you can ask it. There is no problem at all. Okay, Because I cannot go very slow. If you ask me polynomial inequality, polynomial inequality, generally I used to teach in the three hour. And uh, uh, we um, uh, did the very small, uh, we are completing very small time, you can say that the maximum half 40 minutes, 45 minutes I am finishing. So three hour contains I am trying to compress in 40-45 minutes. 
because time constraint is there. But one guarantee I can do, I am not leaving anything. I am not leaving anything. I am just going fast. That's all. Okay. Let's see the more question on this. First, suppose they are saying find x if x minus 1 into x minus 2 power 2 into x minus 3 power 3 into x minus 4 power 4 into x minus 5 power 5 into x minus 6 power 6 less than or equal to 0. Something like this. Very simple. I don't want to give the complicated form where time take for calculation. Concept we have to understand. Chale, break a linear factor. I am not breaking it because that's why so much space will take. But I, in my mind, it's there. Ki, this is the x minus two into x minus two. This is the x minus three into x minus three into x minus three. This is the x minus four into x minus four into x minus four, and so on. I am not breaking that one, but I know coefficient of x must be positive. Already positive everywhere. Directly critical point. Critical point will be what? Critical point will be this critical point one, two, three, four, five, six. Plot clicker point in increasing order on the number line. Let's plot it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Careful. So many questions we don't have time key we can do. So every question try to understand carefully. Basically, I will suggest keep pause the video and try to use it first. Rule is same. Here, after large clicker points and positive and then alternate sign. But before doing alternate sign, since they are the repeated critical point, so we will mark it, which is repeated. See, this 6 is repeating how many times? 6 times, because x minus 6, x minus 6, x minus 6, x minus 6, 6 times is there, no? So 6 times, this is the repeated. 5, 5 times, so normal critical point, no need of marking. 4 repeated, 3 normal, 2 repeated, and 1 is done. There are the repeated critical points are there. So plus, since repeated, so plus. Normal to minus. Whenever you are change going, crossing any critical point, and if that critical point is normal, to so change the sign. If it's repeated, do not change the sign. Simple rule. Positive, I'm going to cross six. Six is the repeated critical point, so I will repeat the sign. But when I'm crossing five, five is the normal critical point. I will not change the sign. I will keep it minus one. Minus. Then again repeated, so repeat the sign. Normal to plus. Are you able to understand? Huh. Now, repeat it to change. Repeat the sign. Normal to change the sign. Finish. What we want? We want less than equal to 0. Less than 0 means negative. Means what are the things we want? This, this, this. That's all. Yes, I will. Okay. I want negative. The x element of minus infinity to 1 close because everything is the numerator critical point union 3 close to 4 close union 4 close to 5 close that's all that's all or if you want this answer you can write this way also x element of minus infinity to 1 union 3 to 5 because 3 to 4 then 4 to 5 and 4 is included so directly write 3 to 5 hello but there is a problem. This answer is incomplete. This answer is incomplete. Think carefully, practically. This total quantity, what they want? They want those value of x so that this should be negative. That is, we did. Number line method will give you sign perfectly. R0, up thing. This whole quantity can be 0 when at x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Means all this should be the part of answer or not? Yes. So let's verify. 1 is included. Yes, it's part of answer. 2 is not there. Hello. So we have to include 2 from our side. 2. Curly bracket. When you are including set of points, curly bracket. 3 is there, yes, very much there. 4 is there, yes, very much there. 5 is there, yes, very much is there. 6 is there, no. So, we have to include. Means, this answer will be this curly bracket. This is the curly bracket. will be 2 x. Sir, do we need to check every time? No. Whenever there is a repeated critical point, always need to check. If there is no repeated critical point, no need of check. You know why? Because if repeated critical point, there will be some area which we skip totally. 
See, here only positive is there. So, we skipped. So, that's why this is left it out. Here only positive is there. We skip this area. 6 is there inside this area. So, that's why we have to add it separately. So, whenever repeating point is there, you need to check carefully. Are you able to understand? Inequality is very important. Application of derivative, there will be that chapter called the monotonicity, increasing, decreasing. They used to ask their inequality will be used. Are you getting? Function domain range, they can ask their inequality can be used. And without inequality, how will you analyze the maximum value, minimum value, all those things analysis we need to do. And that analysis we can do only when we are knowing the this inequality. I know some of you may find difficulty with this one, one, two more question we can do with this and we can finish this part. <coughs> Suppose question is come, find x if x square minus 5x plus 6 into divided by x square minus 3x plus 2 um, less than 0 this time let's say only less than 0. So, break in linear factor x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 1, x minus 2 less than 0. Critical point 2, 3, 1, 2. Plot increasing order. Don't cancel hello. Don't cancel. Sir, why not cancel? You cannot cancel because you don't know it's 0 or not. So, please. Any quantity which may be 0, do not try to cancel it. Otherwise, you will lose one of the solution. Somebody say, find out the roots of this equation. Suppose you said this way and you cancel one end. You will get one solution. But you know this is the quality. Quality cannot have one solution. It will always have two solutions. So, why the mistake happen? You cancel something. Quantity, you cancel that quantity which can be zero. So, again, very small point but very important. We lose some solution due to this mistake. So, critical point one, two, three. But two is the repeated critical point. Two times is coming. So, positive, negative, negative, positive. What do we want? We want less than 0. But this time only less than 0. So, only open bracket. Everywhere open bracket. So, x element of 1 to 2, 1 open, 2 open, union, 2 to 3, 2 open, 3 open. This is the answer. Or this answer can be written this way. x element of 1, 2, 3 full difference 2. Because x element. Think carefully. By chance, if you cancel this, you will get 1, 2, 3. This portion you will not get. So, always keep in mind, you should remove this habit, cancellation habit. It's our habit from childhood. Where anything same is coming, cancel. Are you careful. When you are a child, it's okay. That much, nobody bother. But now, you are writing, you are preparing for J session 2. So, this kind of mistake will lead you the wrong answer. So, I am sure all of you understood the polynomial inequality. Is that clear to everybody? So, this is the polynomial inequality we discuss. And uh, you can do the question practice. You can create your own question. Nobody is going to stop you. Same kind of things is there. And uh, the next things what we are going to study that is the graph. So, let's understand the graph. <clears throat> See, there is a plenty of way for plotting the graphs and all. We are not learning, going to learn at this point those things and all. We are learning the basic methods. Basic method means basic graph you should be able to draw. That is the most important. What exactly we are trying to see for here? Suppose any function graph we know, y equal to fx graph is known. So, using this known graph, how can I get the graph of y equal to f of x plus a? This is the first thing. Means in x, if we add any constant, how to draw graph? How to draw the graph if add any constant in complete function? That we have to see. 
how to get the graph by putting mod on the function that is what we have to see it here are you getting my point how to get the graph if by putting the mod only on the this variable not on complete function how to get the graph for getting uh, y equal to mod is kept only on the y that graph how to get it how to get the graph of if minus sign is coming in the front of function how to get the graph if a minus sign is coming in the front of variable are you able to understand my point these are the and finally how to get the graph of inverse function by using y equal to fx graph so total your eight methods are there simple simple very simple this is the first one this is second one this is we will see third one this one will call it fourth one this one will call it fifth one this one will call it sixth one this one will call it seventh one this one will call it eighth one so total eight methods we have to cross it and that is more than sufficient more than sufficient including your area under curve and all wherever you have to draw the graph basically if you have seen also continuity differentiality question comes if you are very particular about the graph easily you can get the answer so i am not saying that ki this is the for the getting the answers and all this is the fundamental if you are knowing then only continuity differentiality and complete calculus you can understand better way and you can get confidence okay so let's going ahead one by one i am assuming this graph is known it's a known graph this is known so how to get up the graph of this so very quickly we'll try to do first one for y equal to f of x plus a how you know that this method has to be applied whenever there is a variable add a, a, any constant add in the variable in the x then you have to use okay simple logic shift y equal to fx graph by mod a unit in opposite direction of of x x opposite direction of a along x axis along x axis very simple let me explain you by example suppose i want to get the graph of y equal to x minus 2 whole square so first try to get the basic graph how to get the basic graph whatever the constant is here remove it so what is the basic graph basically y equal to x square y equal to x square graph everybody should know this is the y equal to a. these are the basic graph be clear y equal to x square graph some basic graph you should know it uh, why not we should learn first basic graph itself maybe all of you are knowing it also but just for the revision this basic graph you have to remember means you don't have to learn the math you have to remember it y equal to x everybody know i'm going a little bit faster please put your pen fast y equal to mod x y equal to mod x y equal to x square this is called the vertical parabola okay y equal to x square something vertical parabola is the y equal to x square y square equal to x horizontal parabola see don't think it's a stop here it will go up to infinity right y equal to root x Up, some children used to say, "Okay, sir, both are same thing, na? If you square this, you'll get this. Yes. If you square this, you'll get this. But whenever we square any expression in mathematics, it's always change. So remember, y equal to root x and y square equal to x, both are different. So many reason. One of the reason is that this is not a function. This is a function. In the function chapter, we'll discuss that. Y equal to root x graph is this." Miss only this portion. 
सेम वे रूट वाई इक्वल टू एक्स रूट वाई इक्वल टू एक्स इज द ग्राफ दिस इज द ग्राफ आर गेटिंग वाई इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब दिस इज द ग्राफ आर गेटिंग एंड y equal to 1 by x this graph you have to remember this is called the rectangular hyperbola also these things you should remember understood my point next y equal to log x base a log there are two graph it depend on the base if base is lie between 0 and 1 so it's a decreasing graph this is this is 1 0 and if a greater than 1 it's a increasing graph this is got my point ha huh. next y equal to a power x graph when a lie between 0 and 1 decreasing graph actually it's a inverse of log this is the graph something like this it doesn't fold be clear this is the wrongly going it goes down only this coordinate is 0 and a get greater than 1 increasing graph this is increasing graph like a power a uh, 2 power x e power x all these are this graph This is zero comma one one. I don't think eleven. Have you understood? These are the basic graph you have to remember. Anywhere you want it to note it down, uh, you should note down. You can just pause the video and uh, make it backward forward to make proper notes. So coming to this point, y equal to f of x plus a. Whenever any constant added in the variable x, then this method has to be used. y equal to x minus 2 whole square first thing is that first always get the basic graph what is the meaning of basic graph this is called as the basic graph this is first you have to get this then only you can reach to this to get this what exactly we should do we will remove the constant or mod whenever any graph is coming whatever constant is there remove it mod is there remove it automatically you will get the basic graph So here constant you say sir two is also constant this is also constant this is not constant this is not that constant it is the function part of function here we added constant in the variable so this we will remove if you remove this what will get x square so this is your basic graph y equal to x square just now I told you vertical parabola so this is right I want y equal to x minus two whole square so it means in the x I added minus two. whenever in the variable any minus 2 is added so what exactly has to be done in that case we will see that ki a is what a equal to minus 2 a equal to minus 2 it means we have to displace in the positive direction remember i said that ki shift y equal to fx graph by mod a unit in opposite direction of a so we have to shift this graph where gone uh yeah we have to shift this graph by mod of a means mod of minus 2 means 2 unit in the opposite direction so 2 unit opposite direction this is the a is negative so will displace in the positive direction by what unit 2 unit very simple nothing different so this graph i'm just copy pasting this graph and what i will do this i will shift it to unit right side like this finish question over yeah. and no need of a scale and all simply shift it here that's all so this two unit is shifted this is coordinate 2 comma 0 and this coordinate 0 comma 4 how to get this coordinate 0 comma 4 x equal to 0 you can put substitute here the y equal to 4 will come to 0 comma 
to get this coordinate y equal to 0, put it here, so x equal to 2 will come to 2 comma 0. Understood? So, this is the what will come. Suppose somebody say, ah, very fast, we will do practice, very fast, y equal to, I want the graph of um, root of x plus 3. So, remove the constant, so y equal to root x is basic graph, with the root x basic graph. Shift 3 unit left side, because now a is positive. So, we will shift 3 unit left side, the graph will come something like this. This quad, to get this coordinate, always put a y equal to 0, the x equal to minus 3 will come, minus 3, 0. To get this coordinate, I will put x equal to 0, they will get to 0, comma root 3. This is the, I am sure it is clear to everybody. Is it clear? Uh, now next. If I say y equal to log x plus 1 base 2. So, first draw y equal to log x base 2 graph. Log x base 2 graph is this. Am I right? Something like this. And this coordinate is 1, 1 comma 0. Remember, this graph having asymptotes. Sir, what is the asymptotes? Asymptotes is a line where graph try to overlap, where graph try to overlap. So, here y axis is the asymptotes. Understand? Means x equal to 0 is asymptotes. Now, here a value is 1. So, we have to shift 1 unit where left side because a is the plus. So, we will shift left negative side 1. So, 1 comma 0 if you shift left side, how it is going to come? It is going to come something like this. Yes. Did you notice one thing? I draw on this line, boundary line. It is actually asymptotes. Think, here asymptotes x equal to 0. Y axis equation is what? x equal to 0. So if you shift one unit left side, the new equation x equal to minus 1. The new asymptotes will be minus 1. Asymptotes is important because that will tell you the boundary line. Means graph is not available this side. Correct? Without asymptotes, if you draw, what will happen? Simply you will draw like this. Achha, sir, one unit shifted. So, kuch something. So, the, the, what the feeling will come? This is going, keep on going here, which is not possible. Understood my point? Ha. So, we have to shift. Whenever any constant added in the x, we will shift that much unit in the opposite direction. Correct? Hmm. Second method, y equal to fx plus b. Here also I am adding constant, but now not in the variable, in the whole function. See, if I say add constant in a function, so there are two possibilities. Either you can add constant in the input variable, domain variable x, or you can add in the y, or you can say whole function. So, if you are adding any constant in the x, we will use the previous method. Whenever we are adding in constant in the whole function, we will use the, this method. What does this method say? Simple, shift, now fully I will not write, you can understand time limitation is there. Shift y equal to fx by mod b unit in same direction, look carefully same direction of b along y axis. That is all. Finish. Clear? So, suppose if I say, I want to get the graph of y equal to x square minus 4. So, first remove all the constant. So, basic graph will be what? y equal to x square. y equal to x square. This is the basic graph. We have to save, now b value is what? Minus 4, so we will save negative direction, but not along x axis, along y axis. Negative direction, so 4 unit pulled it down, so we will say y equal to x square minus 4 will appear something like this. 4 unit down, yes, that's the graph 4 unit down. Remember, always write the points on the x axis where graph is touching our x axis, uh, intersecting. So, to get this point, x axis point, always put y0. If you put y0, x equal to plus minus 2. So, this is the 2 comma 0, this is the minus 2. Zero. To get this point, put x equal to 0, this will be 0 minus 4. 
अगर मैं आलसो जीरो माइनस फोर बाई फोर यूनिट डाउन कमिंग ना तो दिस लेंथ विल बी फोर तो जीरो कमा माइनस फोर डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड हाँ नेक्स्ट सपोज वन मोर क्वेश्चन विल डू वाई इक्वल टू आई वॉन्ट द ग्राफ ऑफ ई पावर एक्स माइनस वन ई पावर एक्स माइनस वन तो बेसिक ग्राफ इज वाट रिमूव द कॉन्स्टेंट वाई इक्वल टू ई पावर एक्स इज द बेसिक ग्राफ सो लेट्स ड्रॉ बेसिक ग्राफ ई पावर एक्स दिस क्वार जीरो Again, it's having asymptotes. X-axis is the asymptotes. Now I want y equal to e power x minus one. E power x minus one. So one unit down. Look here, x-axis is asymptotes. So one unit down. So asymptotes also one unit down. Asymptotes is there. So always try to draw. Then one unit down. So now it's passed through origin. So graph will be something like this. I'm sure it's clear to everybody. Is clear. Ah. So this is the way we used to draw. Sometimes they can mix, mix means. Suppose they are asking question of like uh, y equal to root of x uh, minus one minus four. If you notice, here constant added in the variable as well as in the whole function. So remove all constant first. Y equal, minus one by by minus four by by. The basic graph is what y equal to root x. So y equal to root x will do. Now we want y equal to root of x minus one. So one unit right side, one unit right side. Your first method will apply. This coordinate one comma zero. Now, but we want minus four. So this graph I will shift four unit down. If x is known, I want f x minus four. So four unit down. Four unit down. So something like this. Think carefully. This was the one zero. Four unit down. So this length will be four. So this coordinate will be what? One comma minus four. How to get this coordinate? As I told you, put y equal to zero. So root x minus one equal to four. Root x minus one equal to four. So x minus one equal to sixteen. So x equal to seventeen. So this coordinate will be seventeen zero. I'm sure it's clear to everybody. Understand? Ha. Huh. So now. We'll see the next third method. Let's see. <clears throat> so third method. Third method for what we have to study. We have to study that if we keep the mod on the function, this complete function come inside the mod, complete function, and we know the graph of y equal to f x. That is the precondition. So for this, what should we do? Very simple. Fold the graph. Fold the graph with respect to x-axis. Let me explain. Whenever y equal to mod f x, you have to draw graph. So first, when you will draw the graph of y equal to f x, whatever the portion here that fold it to up, this portion also you have to fold it to up. Do not understand. Let me explain. Suppose I want the graph of y equal to mod of x square minus four. So first thing is that remove the mod. If you remove the mod, remove constant, you'll get y equal to x square. And but I'm interested in y equal to x square minus four. So second method will apply. Remember all of you. Second method, if when you apply, you'll get this graph. X square minus four. This point was two comma zero. This point minus two zero. This was zero. Arre, just now we did na. But I want mod of this. The first thing, I want mod of this. So what I told you for mod, whatever downside portion, na, just fold it up, take it, hold like this, and look at the camera, and turn like this. That's all. That much only job you have to do. So this portion will be folded up. Upper portion don't touch. Only downside portion will be folded to up. So, how this is going to be? This is, and this is. One thing I always remember. Sometimes I notice when I used to say fold it up. So some children used to fold this way. Okay, sir, I fold it. It's wrong. Whenever anything folding taking place. 
रिमेंबर कर्व कर्व इज वॉट डजेंट हैव द डायमेंशन तो इफ एनी डायमेंशन लेस लाइन और कर्व यू विल फोल्ड ऑलवेज देयर विल बी शार्प पॉइंट इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सी हियर इज द शार्प पॉइंट हियर देर इज नो शार्प पॉइंट शार्प पॉइंट हैज टू डेवलप तो शार्प पॉइंट विल डेवलप दिस शार्प पॉइंट इज द वॉट माइनस टू जीरो एंड टू जीरो This is not correct. This is the graph. Why sharp point is very important? Sharp point means sharp points means point of non-differentiability. Point of non-differentiability means the point where d y by d x is not possible. Suppose somebody say. कि भाई फाइंड द पॉइंट वेयर दिस फंक्शन डज नॉट इज नॉट डिफरेंसिबल ड्रॉन द ग्राफ एट माइनस एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस टू एंड एक्स इक्वल टू प्लस टू तो एक्स इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस टू इज द पॉइंट ऑफ नॉन डिफरेंसिबिलिटी आई एम श्योर इट्स क्लियर टू एवरीबडी अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज दॉड एफ एक्स विल बी ड्रॉ फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज समबडी से कि आई वॉन्ट ड्रॉ ग्राफ ग्राफ ऑफ मॉड ऑफ लॉग एक्स बेस थ्री तो फर्स्ट थिंग रिमूव द मॉड इफ यू रिमूव द मॉड वॉट विल गेट वाई इक्वल टू लॉग एक्स बेस थ्री लॉग एक्स बेस थ्री ये वन कामा जीरो आई वॉन्ट वाई इक्वल टू मॉड ऑफ लॉग एक्स बेस थ्री वॉट एवर डाउन साइड फोल्ड इट अप दिस पोर्सन फोल्ड इट अप फोल्ड इट अप मीन्स टेक मिरर इमेज विद रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एक्सेस इफ यू टेक इफ यू इमेजिन की दिस इज द मिरर तो अपर पोर्सन विल बी एज इट इज एंड डाउन साइड पोर्सन विल गेट मिरर इमेज एंड इट विल कम समथिंग लाइक दिस यस आर नो दिस एंड दिस पॉइंट वन कामा जीरो तो दिस फंक्शन इज नॉन डिफरेंसिबल एट एक्स इक्वल टू वन इज नॉन डिफरेंसिबल एट एक्स इक्वल टू वन आई होप everybody able to understand suppose somebody say i want the graph of y equal to uh 1 by mod of x plus 1 theek hai first thing say bye bye to mod everything constant so y equal to 1 by x is the basic graph y equal to 1 by x is basic graph this is आई वॉन्ट वाई इक्वल टू वन बाई एक्स प्लस वन तो दिस ग्राफ विल बी शिफ्टेड वन यूनिट बिकॉज आई एम कैन एडिंग कॉन्स्टेंट इन द एक्स तो वन यूनिट लेफ्ट साइड वन यूनिट लेफ्ट साइड तो वन यूनिट लेफ्ट साइड दिस ग्राफ शिफ्टेड वन यूनिट लेफ्ट साइड थिंक हाउ इट विल हैपन वन यूनिट लेफ्ट साइड so something like this will come yes sir those who are not able to understand ki how the shifting has been done you can do by some other way also which i don't suggest but still let me show you ye yeah. this graph this is the y axis this is the x axis i have to shift one unit left side graph one unit suppose i say look in the camera this pen one unit down i want to bring so that you can do other way ki this i will shift up i if i say pen and my hand has to touch so either this pen has to come down or my hand has to go up so reverse you can think i am saying to shift this graph one unit left side so think ki this coordinate axis i will shift one unit right side that's all coordinate axis is specially y axis which i don't suggest this method to go ahead but if you face problem to visualization so you can shift like this so you can easily understand now the same situation is coming up so here also you can draw it this is same graph but i will not suggest this go and islamabad way 
Now to get this point x equal to 0, 0, comma 1. That's all. This the graph. What is this, sir? This is the asymptotes because this was having asymptotes. This, so this asymptotes also shift here. One unit. That's what is coming. But I am interested in what? Y equal to 1 by mod of B. Remember, uh, 1 by mod A, you can write mod of 1 by A also. Both are same thing. So I want complete mod on this. So whatever downside is there, I will fold it to upside. Finish. That is the what our things. So think carefully. This portion will be unaffected because this is the completely above x axis. As it is, this will be folded up. Folded up means what? Take mirror image with respect to this. So how it will look? It will look something like this. This is your graph. Y equal to mod of one by x plus. I'm sure able to understand everybody. Is it clear? Huh. Okay. One more question. Y equal to suppose somebody say mod sin x graph. Simple. Sin x graph is what? All of you know I guess sin x, sin x I didn't show you but I am sure everybody knowing it. Mod sin x means whatever downside that will be folded upside. So how the graph will appear? Something like this. Here, this portion will be folded. Here, here, here. All will be same shape and size. Yeah. If I am asking where it is non-differentiable, infinite number of points, 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, at x equal to n pi, non-differentiable. Is this clear to everybody? Am I right? Ah. <clears throat> clear now? Nah? Ah. Next. Fourth method. Y equal to f of mod x graph. Now this time mod is kept on the only variable. Not on the complete function. If it is kept on the complete function, we will use the previous method. Right. So first thing, here you have to follow three steps. First step, draw y equal to fx. Means remove the mod and draw function graph. Second step, eliminate second and third quadrant. Third quadrant. Third step, put mirror on y axis as shown what the you have to do first you have to eliminate second and third quadrant and then put mirror here like this so that this side graph will also come same here that's what the meaning because mod x means what either x positive or negative same situation so it's a symmetric about this line so this way the graph will come you can just write it. I will explain by question only. You can understand. Let's see. Suppose I say question is coming. Ki bhai draw the graph of y equal to uh, mod x minus 1 whole square. Correct. This graph I have to draw. So first thing is that we will draw the basic graph y equal to x square. y equal to x square graph how? this way. Basic graph. Y equal to x square. But I am interested y equal to x minus 1 whole square. So first method, one unit right side. Something like this. Yes or no? Then what I told? I want y equal to mod x minus 1 whole square. y equal to mod x minus 1 whole square. So for that, means you want to replace x by mod x. Means remember, this method will be applied when x is replaced by mod x. I want to replace here x by mod x. So what I will do, I will eliminate second and third. 
eliminate it for that the first step first step said eliminate second and third eliminated this graph came say i eliminated third step imagine mirror like this if you imagine mirror like this you'll get the mirror image this way exactly not coming it seems graph should come actually a rough picture are understood or not to the graph of y equal to mod x minus 1 whole square if i'm asking can you see any sharp point yes i can see the sharp point this is here here no sharp point here what is the x value here zero so x equal to zero is point of non differentiability is point of non differentiability did you understand everybody understand so this is the f of mod x method now let's go ahead and see the next one fifth one mod y equal to fx imagine if there is a mod on the y if there is a mod on the y what exactly has to be done in that case on the y the first step is that same like the draw y equal to fx y equal to fx second step eliminate third and fourth quadrant fourth quadrant third step put a mirror on x axis as follow what does as follow means first step is that ki draw y equal to fx then eliminates third and fourth quadrant and then put mirror this way so that whatever is here same thing should be here and it should seem like previous one for example suppose somebody say ki draw mod y equal to sin x mod y equal to sin x so first what i will do i will draw y equal to sin x y equal to sin x graph how it's coming this way something like this okay now eliminate third and fourth quadrant if you eliminate third and fourth quadrant how the graph will appear see this will be as it is this is eliminated as it is eliminated as it is eliminated as it is eliminated and then imagine mirror here so here nothing is there but here image will come this then this then this then this like that did you understand ha huh. do not try to think about point of non differentiality because this is not a function why it's not a function we'll see in the function chapter because for one value of x there is a more than one value of y understood it's a one to many relation for one x see there are two y it's a one to many relation whenever any one to many relation is set is there that will not be a function if it is not a function we don't talk about the differentiability differentiability we discuss only for function i hope this point is clear to everybody right huh. next one more question you want to see okay let's see y equal to uh, 2 power minus mod x and mod y here suppose this graph i want to get this graph so first remove all mod uh, minus minus we cannot use it sorry i didn't teach you this method okay i can write this way both are same first remove all the mod so what you'll get y equal to 1 by 2 power x 1 by 2 power x graph how to draw by basic graph y equal to a power x when a lie between 0 and 1 remember everybody that is a decreasing graph used to come yes this is a zero one now what they want first i want mod here means i want to replace x by mod x 
When you want to replace x by mod x, eliminate second and third and put a mirror. Ye. This. Eliminate it and put a mirror. This is. Now I want mod y here. Here mod y. So mod y equal to 1 by 2 power mod x means eliminate third and fourth. Third, fourth already not there. So directly put a mirror. This is. And this is to the graph. Do you understand? <clears throat> so, fifth point is clear to everybody. Sixth point. Sixth point. Drawing. <coughs> y equal to minus fx. Whenever the minus sign is coming in front of the fx, simple you have to do rotate rotate y equal to fx by 180 degree about y axis. About y axis. So first things what you have to do, the first job y equal to fx you have to draw and after drawing y equal to fx, rotate it by 180 degree, like this. For example, suppose I want to draw the graph of y equal to log minus x base 3. Now don't say this is not defined. Let's see. y equal to log x base 3 graph first. How the graph will appear? This is log minus x base 3 what will happen rotate about y axis so we'll get log minus x base 3 will be this way just rotate understood my point huh. <clears throat> all this will come in practice when we'll do calculus understood so, very carefully you have to understand all the point. Next, seventh one, y equal to f of minus x. Whenever minus sign is coming in front of variable, in front of variable. So, what you have to do, same logic you have to apply, but slight different. Rotate y equal to fx by 180 degree about the x axis. Clear? For example, this way. Okay, first you have to draw y equal to fx and then you have to rotate it by like this 180 degree. Means whatever downside portion that will go up and whatever upside portion that will come down. Simple logic. For example, if I say I want to draw a graph of y equal to uh, e power minus x. Okay. So, e power minus x when you have to draw. Uh, something, some mistake I did, I think. Oh, I given you another example of this. Uh, I hope I did a mistake here. I am sorry. Uh, this is the method for f of minus x. I wrote it wrongly, please. Excuse me for that. This will be this all right. This is your minus fx. I'm sorry. Minus fx because y can be y has to be negative. So this is the what the mistake. And I'm sorry for that. So that part we already discussed. So why not uh, change it something else? y equal to anything minus you have to bring in the front y equal to suppose I want the graph of uh, uh, minus take it log x only. So, first basic graph y equal to log x base 2. How the graph will appear? This way. 
and we want minus log minus means what rotate about x axis minus log x base 2 equal to this way are you getting huh. so all this method we did only one method left it out that the inverse but now time is limited so will be in the next the virtual lecture of the your basic maths two lectures will be given for the basic maths one is the this graph balance one portion and then modulus concept greatest integer concept and log concept the next session of this will containing the f inverse x method modulus inequality and modulus range and all we have to means ki how to get the range of the modulus concept and the greatest integer fractional part and log so that too is will be, will be very important so this is the what you have to go through i will suggest to you that ki this point you should know it right so we'll continue in the next lecture thank you very much